Kia ora. So this video is in response to a question on StudyIt about where we should choose as our pivots for different equilibrium or torque questions in uh, level two physics. So I've pulled up the exam questions, the collated exam questions from No Brain Too Small, and I'll just scroll through a bunch of these and talk you through each one in terms of where the pivot would be identified. I won't solve the full question, just the pivots. Okay, so for the first one, the athlete's holding a uniform rod, calculate the forces FA and FB. In this case, I would treat FB as my pivot um, and the weight of the uh, rod is gonna be in the center of that two meters acting downwards and FA is acting downwards. So FB must just be providing the total um, upwards force opposite to the weight force of the bar. But FB would be my pivot because if he pulls down with his right hand, he would, he would twist the rod around his left hand. And similarly, if he relaxed with his right hand, then that would allow the torque from the center of mass of the rod to cause it to rotate about his left hand. Okay, down here, um, you for this one, calculate the values of all the forces acting on the bridge. Um, and so for this one, I would probably, be, you could choose either pivot um either side is your pivot um, and then work out the unknown support force from the other one um, once you've done it once you don't need to reverse the calculation a second time you can then just use the sum of the downwards forces must equal the sum of the upwards forces to find the missing um, support force value um, for this question around the bridge um, by finding torques about support A, so we know that the, we're treating A as our pivot in this case. Um, for this question of the players on the bench, by first determining the torques about point B, so that's telling us that point B is going to be our pivot. Um, in this question about alternative launches from 2018, where I told where the pivot point is. And uh, in this diagram, um, explain sorry calculate the size of the force experienced by alf who is old holding end a of the plank so to work that out we have to treat b as our pivot or it's easiest at level two physics to choose b as the pivot um, and so essentially wherever you pick as your pivot you're going to ignore any forces acting through that point for purposes of torque because those forces are zero um meters away from what you've identified as your pivot and so that would mean that any torque which is force times distance would be zero um, sarah on the diving board so b is my pivot here and a must be providing a downwards force um, on the diving board if you could imagine that as if somebody had kind of screwed or bolted um, the end a of the diving board onto that support um, for the books in this question um, <clears throat> calculate the support force provided by panel A. Um, and so to work out the support force on panel A, we have to treat B or we would normally treat B as our pivot. Um, this was a good one though at the gym. Um, we can draw forces on that. Um, in this case, <clears throat> Um, the support force provided by the right hand support is zero. So this support is providing no force, which means that it must be perfectly balanced about this support, which would be our pivot. Um, and then seesaws, seesaws are nice and easy. They've got one point of contact there. So those would normally be our pivots. Okay, I hope that's enough for you, give you a bit of an idea around how to calculate or how to determine your pivot points for those questions. If you have any other questions about it, put it on, um, post on study it um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.